welcome back to the channel guys so today guys i want to do a quick video on sergio busquets guys so sergio busquets has officially left barcelona he will leave barcelona at the end of the season guys and i just want to do a quick reaction with you guys just a quick reaction this will be a short video probably around five to six minutes ish just so you guys know so let's go ahead and get into it um busquets for me like i said he will go down for me as one of the greatest players to ever play for barcelona he is a barca legend there is no denying that anyone that doesn't say this is stupid i'm sorry if you don't believe he is then i don't want to speak to you okay in terms of football because that is blasphemous okay he is a barca legend and yes say what you will he stayed he overstayed his welcome which is probably true i i do believe he did overstay longer than he should have um and especially we've seen in the Champions League where he's not been particularly great. But the thing about Busquets is that he is so good. He's he's still great in La Liga. We've still seen how good he's been in La Liga. And we see how much difference he makes. You know, for example, look at the game that um, De Jong played against Raya Valcano. De Jong was not great at the CDM position. You know, even at this age, even at a very much declined Busquets, he is still a very good player in La Liga. Now, in Europe, it's a different story. In Europe, it's not the same. Because Europe, a lot of teams like to press him and... We've seen it. He's not. He's been more of a liability for us in Europe, unfortunately. And one of the things I really like about Busquets that I think is so underappreciated is the fact he's able to read the game at a high level. He's able to read the game. Yes, he doesn't have the technical, physical attributes. Yes, he doesn't have that pace, but he understands how to make those challenges and understands how to read the game, make those passes. You know, he's a very, very good player. And you know. And when people talk about that Barca midfield, the Xavi Iniesta, people forget that he was a CDM. People forget he was a CDM. We had to throw him. We, we sold Thiago to accommodate for him, you know. And I just think that for me, when people talk about him, he's not going to be as remembered as much as those two, you know. And I just feel like for me, those two players are going to get more respect than, they, um, than Busquets, you know. Now, do I agree with this? I think it's a bit harsh, but that's just the sad truth. The sad truth is that Busquets is a player that we Barca fans should be appreciated. And it's just a shame that he um, is leaving in this kind of manner. Like I said, though, it is a happy ending, though, because he will have a La Liga title to his tr belt. And obviously, he'll have the Super Cup as well. And we're going to... And the good news for Barca is that we're going to be... We're gonna, this will definitely ensure that Barca will get a CDM this summer. And I'll do a separate video on who should be that CDM replacement at another time. Um, but like I said, guys, it's going to be interesting to see who Barca gets a CDM this summer. Because we're going to go for a CDM this summer. That is absolutely 100%. And for Busquets, man, like I said, man, class player, man, legendary player, awesome player, man. And like I said, man, Busquets for me will go down as a Barca legend, a Barca legend. There is no de denying that. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. Um, what do you guys rank about Busquets? And do you guys think it's the right decision for Busquets to leave the end of the season? I personally believe it is because, like I said, guys, he has a happy ending. And I feel like it's just best for us to move on. You know, he's just... He's very old. I think he's like 34 years old, if I'm not mistaken. I have to double check there. Let me actually check that real quickly. Um, I believe he's 34, so let me go to actually check that out real quickly. So, Busquets. Um, Busquets is 34. Yep, 34 years old. He's going to be turning 35 soon because this birthday is July 16th. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, man, it's going to be very interesting to see who, uh, what's going to happen, man. So he's stayed here for 18 years at Barcelona, man. 18 years, man. It's a way to end his career, man. So like I said, guys, La Masia. Uh, let's see what he does this summer. Um, he's looking like he's going to join the Saudi Arabia League, maybe potentially MLS. We'll see what happens with him. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. But guys, if you made it this far, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. Comment down below your thoughts, comment section below. Because if you're a member of the channel, click the notification bell to be notified. Make sure you guys check out my monthly post in the description below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.